Hey, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and I'm really excited to show you our latest update inside our software. So, as you would have seen, we've got a new camera tool, which enables you to create really dynamic animations and movements inside your projects. So, I've got this project here where we've got a character jumping on, waving, and some text animating. And to make it more dynamic, I'm going to zoom in and around it. So, let me show you how it all works. So, first of all, I'm just going to go through and click on the camera tool up here. And this enables you to enter the camera mode where you can animate uh, you know the zooming and the panning and things like that so you'll see that we've got this pink border and you can basically move this in and around where you want the camera to zoom into um, and you've got a couple of options over here as well and the plus icon on the camera layer to add the animation so let's go and click on the plus icon and you can see i've added an animation now and to add the animations you need to make sure that you place the time indicator after the actual um, animation or before it okay so we want it to animate from here to here and I'm gonna select this and just drag it in like this okay so now the animation is gonna go from completely zoomed out to zooming in and kind of coming across so if I just play this I'll show you what it looks like like that and then at this point when as the text is kind of animating on I want to kind of pan across and zoom across so I'm just going to click on the plus icon again and then move the time indicator at the end of the animation and then just kind of come across and I'm just going to you know make it smaller so it zooms in as well like this so let's zoom and then as the next text comes in about here I'm going to start animating that as well so let's go and click on the plus icon move the time indicator to the end and then kind of zoom out and come down a bit like this cool and then after that what we want to do is zoom completely out so i'm going to click on the plus icon again move the time indicator to the end of the animation if you see if i bring it into the middle you won't be able to add the animation because uh, we need to basically set the start and end point so you see we've got a little uh notes telling you to move the indicator to the end or the beginning and over here what we can do is simply um, click on the expand camera tool to make it full width what you can also do is just double click and that will also expand it for a little shortcut okay so let's just preview this what it looks like so we've got that nice kind of zoom Cool. So that's how you can really use this um, and there's many different other cases you can use it uh, to make it really uh, you know dynamic in your videos um, and another thing you can do as well is actually adjust the easing of your animation so if I click on this tool over here with this animation selected and let's say I want to go with um, in so I'm gonna go select back so it kind of like zooms in and then comes out so let's just preview what that looks like on this one cool so you can do it like yeah lots of different animations um, and really play around with it to have a lot of fun and again you can adjust the duration of your animation as well to make it faster or slower um, but yeah that's the main kind of concept around you know creating animations using the camera once you've um, completed your animating you can simply exit the camera by clicking over here to exit the camera mode or also clicking on this icon here so let's just um, exit that mode and then you can go back in here and start you know customizing your video and you know playing around with the different elements and again just to click on the camera tool you can go back into the camera and delete the animations or adjust them as you like as well um, so yeah that's the camera tool um, let me go sh through as well and show you another option that another cr uh, feature that we've created which is the replace color tool so i'm going to go grab a character uh, let's say let's go and grab maybe the superhero guy okay so what you can do now is if i just exit this camera mode and grab this character and go to advanced you'll see we've got the option to replace colors so if i click on replace colors and just zoom in a bit what i want to do is change the color of his top so if i click on the add replace click on the color selector and then go grab this red color i can then go and adjust this color of his clothes by simply you know changing it up like this Maybe you want to make it blue or a pink you can really play around with it and make you know a really nice looking character and you can adjust the tol tolerance so that um yeah depending on the on the color that's selected um you can have a less 
uh, of an effect. Um, but let's say you also want to go through and add another color replacement and change that yellow and maybe make it green. Yeah, you can really play around with it, have a lot of fun with this. Um, and again, adjust the tolerance. You can also adjust the brightness and saturation. So something like that. And let's go and add another color replacement. And maybe we'll adjust um, maybe this back bit. So I'm going to select the color selector. And maybe make this green color. Okay, something like that. And again, you want to kind of play around with the tolerance um, as well as the brightness and saturation. And you can see how quickly you can go through and adjust these colors. So yeah, that's another tool that we've added in to help you to you know customize the characters a bit more. Um, and yeah, those are the main features that we've added in this update. Make sure to um, update to the latest version inside Create Studio. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. And we really appreciate it if you could add a review as well, either to Trustpilot or Capterra. Um, it really helps us with our business. So yeah, thanks again for checking out this video. Hope you enjoy this update and have a great day.